supplies today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray for every department, oh Lord. Father, let there be a lifting up, oh Lord. Father, let it be a lifting up, oh Lord. Every department, oh Lord, shall work according to your plan, oh Lord. Baba, there shall be no chaos today, oh Lord. Father, Lord, we give you all the praise, oh Lord. Holy Ghost, oh Lord, take your place today, oh Lord. Father, take your place today, oh Lord. Father, Lord, you withdraw men unto you, Lord. Father, Lord, we shall walk in your authority today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, in today's service, oh Lord. Father, Lord, you will save souls, oh Lord. Father, Lord, you will restore, you will establish, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we commit today, Lord, into your hands, oh Lord. Every word that we will hear today, oh Lord. Baba, Lord, we shall run with it, oh Lord. We shall be hearers and doers of your words, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we give you all the praise, oh Lord, we give you all glory. Father, today, oh Lord, we declare the service open in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glorious God. Beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God. We bow before your throne. We bow before your throne. We worship at your feet. We bow before your throne. You're the glory of glorious God. Beautiful. Worship at your feet. We bow before your throne. You are, you are. We bow before your throne. We worship at your feet, Lord. We worship you. You are, you are. We bow before you. Your we bow before you, Lord. You are, you are. are glorious God. Adonai, we worship you, Son of God. You are so good. you son of god you are so good you are so good oh my dear be your is forever You, son of God, you are so good. You are so good. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Hallowed be your name. Your dominion. Your dominion. Oh, yeah. He's forevermore. Mamma, 
Somebody worship, somebody pray. 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 Somebody worship, somebody pray
that as you are sowing, you are planting a seed. And one day, you too, you are going to build your own house. It's just as simple as that. So when you have that understanding, once it is th time for offering, especially building offering, you should come prepared. Because you are indirectly sowing a seed that will speak for you for your own building. I have practiced it and it has manifested in my own life. And God is not partial. The same God that has done it for everybody proud to you, he will also do your own in the name of Jesus. So please, let's be on our feet as we take our building offering. The choir will lead us. If you are transferring, amen, please meet the ushers to give us the project account and you can transfer your seed to the project account. Over to you, choir. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. As we offer to the the sacrifice, peace of thanksgiving, as we offer unto him the sacrifice, peace of praise. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. As we offer unto the sacrifice, the sacrifice is of thanksgiving. As we offer unto him, the sacrifice is of praise. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah, 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 shout hallelujah, 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 shout hallelujah, 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 shout hallelujah, 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 there's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. I walk the walk, I walk the No one, no one. I search, he search. No one, no one. I turn around. No one, no one. There's no one, there's no one like him. Let us pray. My father, there is no one like you. You are the one that can bring water out of the rock. You are the one that parted the Red Sea. You are the one that brought the walls of Jericho down with a shout of hallelujah. You are the one that brings about the harvest. Lord, we have sown into your temple, the building of your temple, even in your presence this morning. You that can do the impossible, come and make beautiful things happen in all our lives in the name of Jesus. As we have sown to the building of your temple, Father, build our own houses in the name of Jesus. Let our joy be full. Sanctify the offering. Let the project start and let it finish in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You are welcome to your Father's house this morning. And as you have come, you will not go back empty-handed because God will answer to all your needs and your joy shall be full in the mighty name of Jesus. I am pleased to inform you that one of our sisters, Sister Precious, has put to bed. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus, a bouncing baby boy. Mother is doing well. Baby is fine. And of course, the father is also fine. And we, we are rejoicing. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. So please, let's reach out to her and celebrate in their joy. Amen and amen. So I think next week, Thursday, there about, we'll be planning to do the naming. Also, I'd like to announce the wedding. Amen. Or announce a wedding. Praise the name of the Lord. If we're celebrating, we can celebrate very well. These things are things of joy. And we know that it's only God that can do this in our midst. So, Sister Anastina and Brother Emmanuel, amen, they are going to be 
they are going to be joined together in holy matrimony on the 9th of April 2022 praise the name of the Lord and they are inviting every one of us so this wedding is going to take place in Sister Tina's church you know when we finish the wedding then we'll bring her here praise the mighty name of the Lord so it's going to take place at Kingdom Liberation Worship Center somewhere in Orile by Coca bus stop amen on that day we'll make arrangements so that we can know how we're going to move together as a group to attend the wedding and their reception is going to follow immediately after a divine step reception hall at number 11 Shekoni Street, Koka, Orile, Igomo. So normally I don't like to announce the reception because a lot of people, they will go and wait for us in the reception so they can have all the rice and the stew and everything before we come. So let's all attend the wedding and from there we'll proceed to the reception. So please remember them in your prayers and you pray for them. Those who are expecting God to do so for them, God will also do your own in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. They've done the traditional, it was successful, and we give God all the glory. Amen. This morning, quickly, in the time that I have left, I'm going to be speaking to you on be established in Christ. Be established in Christ. And I want to thank God for his faithfulness over every one of us and our families in the mighty name of Jesus. God has indeed been good. And even today, will not return home empty-handed. I want you to know that all your expectations, God will sort you out. All the good things he has in store for you will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is our month of establishment. And God will establish you in his righteousness, in the light of his glory, and your joy will last forever in the name of Jesus. I will take my text from John chapter 14, verse 5 to 9. John 14, verse 5 to 9. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, replying now, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Let's bow our heads as we pray. My father, my God, we come before your presence, even this hour, to receive from you. Lord God, we pray that only your voice will be heard. Spirit of the living God, use me for your glory. And Lord God, let our heavens be open. Let our blessings pour down. And every hearer of this word shall be blessed. And Father, you will help us to be doers of your word. And you alone will take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I do not know who the doubting Thomas is here. Or who the doubting Thomas is in our midst today. Whatever doubt you may be having in your mind, will I succeed? Will I get married? Will I give birth again? Will I overcome this trial? Will this raging storm ever cease in my situation? Will this debt that I'm owing, will it be lifted up from me? How will I pay? Will I ever get my progress, will it be well with me again? Questions upon questions. I want you to know that God is not done with you yet. You will laugh again. You will rejoice again. Because God is going to establish you in his own glory in the mighty name of Jesus. The, here was doubting Thomas, showing his doubts, his confusion and worries on how he could find the path to greatness. He told Jesus, we don't know where you are going. Amen. And we don't even know how to get there. He wants to know the path. Amen. 
just like many Christians today. But Jesus stepped up. He stepped up to the occasion, cleared his doubt, reassured him that he, Jesus, is the way, the truth, and the life. Indeed, Jesus is the way, is the truth, and is the life. And that should be a charge to someone here this morning or someone listening to us that you can be established in his righteousness and in his glory. Every man seeks to be successful. Everyone. They seek to be prosperous. They want to have good health. They want to have a good life and they want to be relevant. And this is the reason that the worldly people they defraud, they pull others down in an attempt to secure their position. Because every man wants to have a better life. We as children of God have been equipped with every spiritual blessing that will make us to be successful in the journey of our life. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3, it tells us, Ephesians 1-3, that we are blessed with every spiritual blessing. It says, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. Beloved, there is a path that can guarantee your success in the journey of your life. And that's what I want to bring to you this morning. Now, what is that path that will guarantee your success? Thomas was asking the same question. Many of us, we have questions. Just that the way the service goes, they cannot say, Pastor, I have a question. But I know in your heart, there are questions that need attention. Jesus answered this pertinent question of which parts can lead to my success. He answered it. And he answered it in the scripture we read in verse 6 of John chapter 14, where he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. The success of your life is in the hand of God. He has a potent and glorious plan for you. God wants the best for you. He has prepared the best for you. Amen? He has made you for something special, worthwhile, and something glorious. You are not just an accident that occurred. You are not just here to occupy space. But you are here for something special. Something worthwhile and something glorious. God said to Jeremiah in, in verse 5 of Jeremiah chapter 1, he said, before I formed you, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. And I ordained you a prophet to the nations. This tells you straight away that God has a well-defined prepared and ordained plan for your life that will turn out to be the best thing that happens for you. It's not by mistake. Amen? The only thing is how do you find the path? That's just the problem. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. He assured you us. He assured us. He says that I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Says the Lord God Almighty. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Because he has prepared a plan, something worthwhile for your future. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. This was precisely what Jesus told Thomas in John chapter 14. That the best plan of God for your life needs to be established in order for you to prosper. You must come to the one who knows the way. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, Jesus is the way to establish you in righteousness, in victory, in prosperity, in joy, and in peace. Jesus is the way. To overcome the devices 
the devious and cunning strategies of the devil, you need to be planted in the righteousness of Christ. Because every day, the Bible says that the enemy is going around looking for who is going to destroy. So we are exposed, endangered species, exposed to the attack of the enemy. To overcome this enemy, you need the righteousness of God. Isaiah 33, 15 to 7. Isaiah 33, 15 to 7. It says, He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, he who despises the, the gain of oppression, who gestures with his hands, refusing bribe, who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from seeing evil, he will dwell on high, his place of defense will be the fortress of rocks. Bread will be given to him. His water will be sure. This righteousness is not just obtained by mere wishful thinking. It is obtained through the blood of Jesus. And 2 Corinthians 5.21 tells us that we are righteous through Christ. Amen? Praise the name of the Lord. So number one, Jesus is the way to establish you in righteousness. It's also the way to establish you in victory. Because victory is overcoming all the devices of the enemy. But in Christ, you are sure that you overcome. You are sure. So to overcome, to overcome the enemy, to be victorious in all that you do, you need Jesus to show you the way. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 and 58 talks about the victory that Jesus has obtained and we are the beneficiaries of that victory. It's also the way amen, to establish you in prosperity because man is looking for the way and I'm showing you the way. In Christ is the way to establish you in prosperity. Jesus settled the issue of prosperity when he exchanged your poverty with his own riches. He took our poverty and gave us his riches in exchange. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9. Jesus is the way for your joy and of course for your lasting peace. Jesus is the joy giver. Amen. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. He knows the way. He knows that joy is created from within and it is fully expressed when there is the performance of God's word in your life. A man that is sacked from work. Amen. He will express some elements of sadness even though there's joy in his heart. A woman that is barren, that cannot give birth, even though she's filled with joy, there's still going to be some elements of sadness that she will express. Jesus knew. That's why he said in John 16, verse 24, he said, ask, ask, anything. Why? So that your joy will be full. Because he is the joy giver. So you can't find joy anywhere else but the Christ, in Christ. So Christ, Jesus, is the way for your joy. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Jesus is also the truth. The truth to establish you in what God says about you. Because you see, in life, many things will happen. Challenges will come, circumstances will come, and those things are speaking in our lives. But Jesus is the truth of what God says. So even if everything around you is saying that you are sick, your temperature is high, your blood pressure is high, that's the fact of the matter. You are not well. But the truth is that Jesus has made you whole. He has conquered for you. And by his stripes, you are already healed. So Jesus brings the truth of God's word and establishes that's what Jesus does. You might have challenges in many areas of your life. 
and people are mocking you. But what is the truth of what God says? Jesus brings that truth into establishment. In Psalm 119 and verse 160, Psalm 119 verse 160, it says the entirety of your word is truth. That means whatever God says in the scripture is what is meant to happen for you. So he is the truth of the word of God. Jesus is the life Amen. That establishes you in light. His life is the light of men. The light that you need that will chase away darkness and everything associated with evil, such as poverty, barrenness, failure, sorrow, death, stagnancy, you name it. Those things can be chased out when the light of God comes into your situation. And his light makes you to be attractive. When the light of God shines in the life of a man, that man's life begins to attract favor. It begins to attract blessing. It begins to attract compassion. Destiny helpers begin to locate him. Because the light of God is attractive. Praise the name of the Lord. You suddenly become a city that is set upon a hill, shining bright. John chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. He says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and darkness did not comprehend it. So, in conclusion this morning, Jesus remains the way, the truth, and the life forever. And ever. He's available to whoever we believe, who we confess and accept him, and all the goodies that he brings and offers to us. He knows the best for you, and he has a good and glorious plan for your future. All that you need to do is to embrace it so that you can be established in the best that God has for you. So before we pray this morning, while all heads are about, you are here and you want to say, Father, I want to embrace you so that you can establish me. You can show me the way. You can help me to discover my path of greatness. I need you in my life. If you are here this morning, all you need to do is to say, Father, I want to embrace you. I want to hold on to you. I want you to come and establish your will and your purpose in my life so that my life can have a meaning. Anyone like that? Very quickly as we pray this morning. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. So if you don't mind, let's be on our feet quickly as we pray. I want you to pray for yourself. Amen? I want you to pray and ask God to establish you in the very best that he has prepared for you. So in the next 30 seconds, go ahead and begin to talk to God in your own way. Your prayer is simple. Father, the best that you have prepared for me, please establish me in it. Establish me in it. Establish me in it. The very best you have prepared for me, establish me in it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and say, Father, every of my step, my decision, and the actions I take, let it lead me to my glorious destiny in the name of Jesus. My Father, every of my step, my decisions, my actions, let it lead me to my glorious destiny in the name of Jesus. And finally, you pray and say, Father, let my light shine in success and in victory in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Let it be so for us. Let our light shine in success and in victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Quickly, I also want to appreciate everyone who celebrated with us yesterday during our anniversary. God will bless you and cause you to be celebrated in Jesus' name. God bless you all. God, you can do that better. Because he has come down for you like never before this morning.
Let's stretch forth our hand and let's begin to ask God to visit his son afresh this morning. Let's declare to his life that as he comes out every now and then in the things of God, his own things will be taken care of by God himself in the name of Jesus. God will build his wall of fire around him and around his family. All that he lays his hands to do will prosper. The light of God will trade away every form of darkness in and around him. In the name of Jesus. Forever, all trances will not be lacking in his life. And there shall be speedy performance of the word of God through him. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Going further in this glorious service this morning. I want to pay my tithe. I have transformed my tithe online. Please, can you be on your feet? Oh, God bless you. Ushers, you can go around and pick a tithe. For those of us that are transferring our tithe online, you can do that to account number 101-586-5372. The account name is RCCG Priest Tabernacle and the bank is Dennis Bank. Faithful one of Israel, we want to thank you, we want to appreciate you for your sons and your daughters that bring their tithe to your storehouse. We ask, O oh Lord, that the reward of tithe you would release into their life in the name of Jesus. By the reason of this tithe, finances will blow some in their hands in the name of Jesus. All that they do in their career, in their business, Lord, you will establish them like never before. This ones we attract favor in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We'll be giving our offering now. And also, you want to transfer your offering. You are, not, you are cashless. You are running online banking. Please transfer to 101-586-5372. 101-586-5372. The account's name is RCCG Praise Tabernacle. And the bank is Zenith Bank. While for those of us who are with cash, we'll be on our feet. The ushers will pick it from us and the choir will lead us while we give cheerfully. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. New miracles every day. New testimonies everywhere. Hey, latest grace I receive daily. Do. I know Jesus is taking care of me. New mercies every morning. You daily load me with your benefit. You treat me like your only child in the world. I know Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, I am here to testify. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, Jesus is watching over me. He's looking after me. Jesus is looking after me. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, Jesus is taking care of me. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, Jesus is watching after me. He's looking after me. Jesus is looking after me. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. People, they ask me, say, now waiting, they make me shine. I just don't tell them, say, now Jesus, they make me shine. People, they ask me, say, people, they ask me, say, now waiting, they make me shine. I just don't tell them, say, Oh, people, they ask me, say, now wait till they make me shine. Oh, I just they tell them, say, now Jesus, they make me shine. Jesus, 
Yesuniko ni moni ni baba 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 Eba mi bo Eba mi bo ru kore Eba mi bo ru kore Eba mi bo ru kore Let's pray for our hand this morning. Let's begin to declare that this offering will provoke blessing for us as a church, as an individual, and as a family in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, that you accept us and accept this offering in the name of Jesus. Let it be counted for us as righteousness. We ask, O oh Lord, as we have sung to your hearing, that you are the mighty one. You are the only one that would lean on. Lord, you will not disappoint us and we will not disappoint you. In the name of Jesus. Do it, O oh Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's be seated in his presence this morning. Please, let's listen to the following announcement. But prior to that announcement this morning, today is your first time of worshiping with us in Praise Tabernacle. Can we be identified with you? Do we have anyone like that? Today is your first time of coming. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. You are welcome to the we'll hands of your morning, father. Smile with the rising sun. Thrill is obeys. I find all my dust saves. Singing sweet song, melodies going true, and we sing. This is my message to you. Hey. Singing, don't worry about the thing. Oh, every little thing's gonna be alright. Hey. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, you are in the right place at the right time with the right people. You will never go back the same way. Oh, you are in the right place at the right time with the right people. Oh, yes, you will never go back the same way. My brother, you're welcome to your father's house this morning. You mean so very much to us. That card that you've been given, please fill it correctly. Your full name, your mobile number, the nearest bus stop to your house, and your prayer request. And we'll get in touch with you in the course of the week. But this morning that you have come, Prince Tabernacle wants to declare to your life, and there's going to be a performance of that word. Let's go ahead and begin to declare what we desire for our brother. God we bring it to pass speedily in the name of Jesus. Father and our God, we thank you. We appreciate you for you have brought your son to your vineyard this morning. We ask, O oh Lord, that forever he will see you at every point in time in life in the name of Jesus. Because he has come today, you will root him more in your word, in your presence, in the name of Jesus. This one will be an icon in your kingdom. Do it, O oh Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And God will establish you in praise tabernacle in the name of Jesus. Today that you have come, you are a guest, but after today, we are building this family together. And it is my pleasure to introduce to you the pastor in charge of praise tabernacle, Pastor Evans Onochego. We would love to be your pastor, and I believe God, you'll be a good sheep in the name of Jesus. All right, 
let's listen to the following announcement. Please, announcement is very important for you so that you will know all that is happening in Prince Tabernacle. You are, I'm not aware, I don't know. Please listen. By the grace of God, next week Sunday we'll be having a glorious service here. The very first service is that early riser service and the second service is praise service. Come prepared, come ready, and the Lord God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. The early riser runs between the hours of 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. While our Sunday school follows immediately between the hours of 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. The praise service starts 10 a.m. or through 12 noon. And as you come, the Lord God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. Every Sunday we have a morning dew prayer 6.30 a.m. Where God give you first hand declaration and the performance start immediately. We ask, O oh Lord, that that which we do, now make God to give us attention through that hour. God will be continuing in our life and will be a good shape in the name of Jesus. Every Tuesday, we have a digging deep service between the hours of 7 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. on our Facebook page. RCCG Praise Tabernacle Ogombo is a Facebook page. Please log on between the hours of 7 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. But eventually, you could not make it that time. Is there. Go there, listen to it, and you will be rooted in the name of Jesus. We have a faith clinic every Thursday between the hours of 6.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Where we come, we lay our petition before God, and God give us speedy answers in the name of Jesus. For you to know more about Praise Tabernacle, please visit our website, rccgpraisetabernacle.com. On our Facebook page, we are RCCG Praise Tabernacle Ogombo. And our YouTube channel is RCCG Praise Tabernacle Ogombo as well. You want to give your tithes, your offering, or any kind of offering that is different from the project offering, please give to account number 101-586-5372. 101-586-5372. The account name is RCCG Priest Tabernacle and the bank remains Zenith Bank. For our ongoing project, there are several in the house. You want to be part of it through your offering? Please give to account number 101-661-5945. 101-661-5945. RCCG Priest Tabernacle Project is the account name and the bank remains Zenith Bank as well. As you give, the Lord will increase all your finances in the name of Jesus. Believers class and workers in training class holds immediately after the second service. For those of us who are part of that class, please let's continue our class. And for those of us that need to be in that class, you are new convert, you want to know more about RCCG as a whole, please join that class. And you'll be glad you did. As a member of Praise Tabernacle, please belong to our Care Fellowship. It's very crucial. Please do that. And as you do so, the Lord God will guide your obedience in the name of Jesus. Also, let's be reminded, all the generals in the house shout, Hallelujah! We'll be having our monthly video this Friday. Come prepared, come ready. And the Lord God will answer all our prayers in the name of Jesus. Praise Tabernacle, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. It's a month of establishment and the prayer department in conjunction with Praise Tabernacle as a O will be having a special prayer program summit. Thug, recover all. I think you will celebrate God. All that you have lost, the Lord God has promised that you are going to recover all in the name of Jesus. This service is going to be two days per part service. The very first day is going to be a video. And that also falls in our monthly video as a church. And that happens Friday, 25th of March. I'm ministering for the two days. And the second day is Sunday, 27th of March. That Sunday is going to be a combined service. It's not going to be two services. So please, let's come prepare. Let's come ready. Ministries are Pastor Stephen and Pastor Olua Shegun Ojo. The Lord God bless you as you come for those services. Please, let's be reminded the very first service 
for those two days, 25th of March. It's on a Friday and it is a video. Please come prepared, come ready. The video starts 10 p.m. And as you call, God will answer all your prayer and you will recover all in the name of Jesus. The business and the career team are also sitting today. For those of us who have an appointment with them, please let's meet them and let's get prepared. Let's get ready. It's going to be a brief meeting. Please come and be part of that as you are obliged. Please, the family of Agbedia and Ojukbele cordially invite the presence of Praise Tabernacle. I think you will celebrate God. If not for anything, for Praise Tabernacle. So the wedding ceremony of their children. The date is the 9th of April, 2022, and the time is 10 a.m. at Coca Orile, Lagos. Remember, God gave us a word that wedding bells are ringing, and there's a performance of that word. That's why I said, if not for anything, celebrate for praise, Tabernacle. Lord, we thank you. All the teachers in Praise Tabernacle, including the Sunday school teachers and the children teachers, please, let's wait immediately after the second service for a brief meeting. All Sunday school teachers and children teachers, please, let's wait for a brief meeting after the second service. Today that you have come and God has blessed you and has also shown you that you can only be established in Christ Jesus. Be on your feet this morning and let's begin to appreciate God for his faithfulness, for his word that is always in performance in our life. Let's thank him. Let's appreciate him. Let's return to him. Glory, honor, adoration. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we say there is none that can be compared with you. You are the Alpha et Omega. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. For you are God. You are not a man in our life. Lord, we return glory, honor, adoration to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Let's have our Redeemer's anthem. The first stanza is below. Declaration John 15 16. Yeah. Let's go. I did not. Yes, but you chose me and appointed me that I should go and be a fruit. And, and whatever has the Father. It is our month of establishment. And we have heard this morning and we have been hearing on our digging deep, on our morning deals. But something is speaking to you in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. It says you should cast down all imaginations, just like Thomas. That your obedience is what God needs. So this morning, go before God and ask him, Lord, help my obedience so that I can be established. Lord, help my obedience. Help our obedience as a church. Our Father and our God, we thank you. 
We appreciate you for we know you are God indeed. Lord, you never change. You have been our God for ages past, even in Prince Tabernacle. And we reference you for that. We say, be that exalted ever in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh Lord, as all your words have been coming forth, you will help our obedience individually in the name of Jesus. As a church, you will help our obedience so that we can be established in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Shalom. Let's get settled for Sunday school.